Hi, so the University of Minnesota recently partnered with Google to provide you a powerful suite of applications. We can you have Gmail, Google Drive, Google Calendar, and also YouTube. You can see YouTube is one of those ones when you just go to Google.com that you'll be able to find. If you go to YouTube and you're not already signed in to your traditional or non UMN Google account, just click sign in. When you do that, you'll be prompted to put in your username and password. And then it brings me up to the X100 screen. There again, I'll click sign in. And before you know it, you'll be within YouTube. I haven't used this account before. I'm just about to begin to upload my first video and create a YouTube channel. Within this screen, you can select what you want to share. This is a university account, and we recommend that by default you don't share. Feel free to share them if you want to. Once you're ready, to create your account, click I'm ready to upload. On your upload page, one of the first things we wanted to help you use is how to create an account that allows you to upload more than 15 minutes. So here you'll see increase your limit. We want you to click there. And then you have a two-step verification. Once you have your verification number, go ahead and type it in. In my case, it's 086-017. You can verify. And voila, after you do that, your account will be enabled to upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes. Recording a video is pretty easy. You can actually record directly from your webcam or upload multiple files, or just select the file within your home page. Once you upload a video, you have the option to set a title to them, press, a description, press, 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 and a tag. If, especially if you don't want your video to be found, since there's 72 hours of video uploaded every minute, if you don't really tag it or describe it or title it well, most likely it will not be found. That's really what YouTube utilizes to be able to tell where to place your video, apart from the category that you choose. Then you're welcome to set your video as public, unlisted, and private. If you want to learn more about us, When you create a private video, you can share it with more than 50 other individuals. The people you share it with most already have a YouTube account. And the thumbnails will be on this list. You can, however, always make a video go from being private to public. On this video is a different type of private video. It means that you can send the link easily and there's no 50 people sharing them in. But it could potentially be shared to people you don't want to, as the HTML code could be shared to those individuals. Finally, you can always make public videos. YouTube is a community. If you're happy with what you have created, then please go ahead and share it. In this case, I'm going to cancel this upload, but I think you understand how to upload from now. Um, you can always go to your video manager. And then you have a video editor as well. Here you can drag a video and add elements to it as well. I do for now this way. It's a very easy way to create, for example, an intro to a video. These are all created common videos, and you can actually search for more. There may be some within a topic you're actually interested in. Education. If you do this, then all of a sudden you can bring in pieces from this video, that video, and many others. So feel free to use materials that are freely available. And please, if you're interested, find out more about Creative Commons. Feel free to remix and use them however you want to. Next, YouTube actually has a good set of transition tools. So you can add to your video. If you go to the marker, go to this setting, you'll be able to do the transition. You also can go ahead and add text here. Add text on top of it, title text, or banners within the video, or banners in between transitions. So, that's part of the video editing features. It's pretty advanced for being cloud only. YouTube has many other features. 
One of the other features that I did want to cover is you can app those via your mobile device. All you have to do is use the mobile upload email ID and you'll be able to then upload there as many elements as you want to. Feel free to share that with people that you want them to be able to add elements to this account. Another interesting feature that you may like about YouTube is you'll be able to add captions to your videos. When you go to your videos, you will be able to upload a transcript or a caption file. When you upload a transcript, it would actually try to guess where the speech person is. But it scans your video to see if you can add a caption. But well, many times the add a caption is not exactly what we want it to be yet. However, you can easily upload your own caption. As you can see, that image actually comes from my Google Plus image. I'll show you Google Plus in a second. Google Plus will not work similar to Facebook, but it allows the creation of searches. We also recommend that you maybe you can create circles inside your classes and share resources for your classes. 